Many have been asking me, is Invoker is coming back? I honestly do not know. I still think it's in a good spot because of the ban list, but we just have to see. Right now, we, we gotta focus on the meta and focus on what we can do as players. I'm actually bummed out that Golden Frieza is banned. Hmm. We all saw the ban list, and I, I just wanted to share my thoughts on each card that did get banned or limited or eroded. So I won't hook you guys up. And it's up in my sway. Stay in my bag. I got plenty for days. Chief and as I don't come with no haze. Came a long way for minimum wage. Hey, Emmy you seven here back with another video. And today we're going to be discussing the ban list that happened on Friday. Before we start, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe because we're on the road to 2K. You want a box, do you? Okay, let's discuss these cards. So first we have Ultimate Farm Golden Frieza. Now, the other day, I actually made a top five meta deck video and Ultimate Farm Golden Frieza was actually in the roster of all the decks that are being played at these events, which told me that Bandai absolutely took notice of this now what this means and this is my opinion what this means to me is that the new yellow u7 goku deck that's coming out soon will be the new profound leader of yellow right i mean think about it, it it's not gonna let you untap two energy and pop one card which ultimate form going to freeze up let you do that right that's the reason why it lasts the 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 sets the the balance the erratas from set one until now so that leader is forever to go i hope that leader does get rebooted like soul striker did i, I don't I, i'm gonna miss it because when i played against it it made me think outside the box more than any other deck outside of making kubora for sure but yellow is in a weird spot because of this leader being hit now you still have the uh, golden freezer swap that might be the new way for freezer where you can use some of his resources from that leader the og freezer with the new one as a defense mechanism to where you could play it and see what plays you can do and stuff. It should be exciting for yellow players, but I know a lot of yellow players are kind of iffy about what the, what the leader getting hit. All right, let's go on to the next card. Next we have Android 16 Final Wish. And it, now, the reason for this one was that uh, the fact that this card skills allowed the SS Sun Gohan result to probably train it, become a Z leader early is one of the factors that give it the power to hold back other decks to make change in the game this card is considered a ban now when i it, it was a threat for a while green gohan was a threat for a while and it was considered one of the best green decks many people were speculating that this particular leader right here was going to be around for a very long time but because of its, its play it, it made sense but but hear me out though right hear me out when i started playing against SS Green Gohan, uh, when I started playing against this leader, I had learned a lot about my own skills, right? I managed to, I went from losing against this deck to actually beating it with Fujito because I understood the matchups and the more reps I got, I had more reps beating this deck, right? It actually inspired me to be better. So I'm kind of iffy. I mean, it was a luxury to play the SCR Vegito and put Android 16 Final, um, Final Wish into rest mode it was a luxury which made me play better because i had to work around it even dealing with the zenkai leader it was still a problem but we managed it and I'm, i feel bad for green players because this actually gave green players hope for a certain period of time i i hope they get better support i hope there's another leader to support uh gohan it makes sense though because it was pretty annoying and it had deflect too which it made the leader z awaken but that was pretty cool. I actually enjoy the fact that it's Z-Waken. My team encouraged us to not complain about certain cards and actually learn to play against it. Man, I'm just I'm just speaking the facts. Next we have Hit the Revoker. And it's, the reason is, is that this card can easily limit the opponent's energy in an Aegis deck, creating an unhealthy pattern of play, causing the game to run much longer. In order to keep that game progression healthy, this card is designated as a banned card. And of course, it's kind of play says choose up to two of your opponent's energy, switch them to rest mode, then play this card. Now, it makes me think that they probably was looking at yellow being a bigger threat next set. I mean, which we have yellow U7 Goku that's actually one of the best decks, come, best yellow decks coming out, right? But I think 
that with ultimate form go ahead and freeze it going into the next set with this card here with hit the, the revoker and ages still being around they realize that ages is they're going to make sure ages stands out moving forward because the set just came out and i guess they realized wait a second if gogeta becomes a threat and then the player puts hit the revoker in golden frieza that can actually flex the critical blow set we just released so they they don't want ages being touched they want ages coming back which last time we saw ages was what oh, guys tell me what a set seven right set, set seven or eight it has to have been set seven but they want ages to be around and i can tell that they want that to proceed in future sets so this one was <laughs> interesting frieza charismatic villain is limited to one that card is dead um people are saying through the discord chat hey green is dead green is dead i mean man this i'm going to read the reason this card has been a straight in green decks for a long time since the release of vt10 in order to reduce the strength of the green deck and change the game this card is made a limit card that means okay i'm, I'm just saying if you play invoker you play rival seeker you don't have to worry about charismatic frieza popping your your um your card because it'll keep it in hand there's only no one of right um i'm just throwing it out there but with uh with this particular limit right does this mean there's no more free counter plays think about it there's no more right we had um the super saiyan 2 trunks um god seal technique that was banned yamcha merciless barrage was limited to one um we do have the SS4 Vegeta Prifle Warrior. That's like one of the last um, play up to four yellow battle cards, a counter plays that you can play in a yellow deck. So I, I, I'm assuming they're giving some grace with yellow, but they're slowly hitting the free play counters. Cause Unison Warrior was all about free counter play. It was a huge deal. I guess they're trying to make sure things cost, but have a little bit of grace with the free play. So we just have to be very cautious. Now, I actually had, I, I built the Green Sail Ultimate deck. Um, I'm most likely gonna take it apart and just play Beerus. So it's still a, a fun deck to play, but Green is, is an easy target now. It's easy. And um, they couldn't have at least done two, but I think, that's, I think this is them saying, hey, we're not gonna be focusing on free counter plays. You're gonna have more engagement with the keyword skills outside of free play because you have a unison unison warrior is still a that 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 set is still very good but they, they're focused on zenkai stuff i think i raised something about unison zenkai card um man i'm anxious to see so that. we have super saiyan son goku and super saiyan vegeta ultimate duel this card is very powerful and this is the reason that bandai is, is saying this this card is very powerful and is a factor in widening the power gap between Sun Goku, Vegeta decks, and other yellow decks. As you guys know, Yellow U7 Goku is a Goku yellow leader. In order to expand the flexibility of deck selection, this card is designated as a limited card. But understand, and let's just review this auto real quick for those of you who don't know. It is a card that when you play it, um, you negate a card skill and rest mode and KO it, and you tap one yellow energy if you have, um, if you're, um, and your opponent has two or more energy and your leader is a goku vegeta and he's also double strike now this card was it was is what made manjin vegeta good to a degree right not just that but in yellow u7 goku just by play test with my boy demark is on untap um he ran four of these and this was a main card i had to focus on dealing with in play right now this doesn't mean that the yellow 7 goku deck is going to suck the, the six drop and four drop that's coming out uh, wait, a uh, multiple awakenings, and the other one that has a um, you tap one and it style something Norman Barrett, they're still a threat. But the fact that they decide to limit this card to one, it will be considered a semi SCR. I mean, you have to be cautious on when you play it, which gives other yellow you can still fill in other yellow cards. You can use Final Fast, Final Flash, you can use my title, you can use Giant Balls. You can use more Nimbuses. You can use uh, Goku's Black Continental High. So you have other ways to fill it in. It is going to be a little slower and not as aggro. Radiance. As is for Vegeta, Prismatic Radiance. And basically his auto was, when this card is played from your hand, draw one card and play up to one Black Multi. Got a battle card, energy cost up two from your hand. 
Additionally, if there are four more colors in your energy, and this is when the errata comes in when he's saying, additionally, if there are three or more non-black colors on black um, on black multicolor cards in your energy, add to one of your energy. So other than making it just four or more colors, they change it to where, look, if you have three but non-black colors on black multicolor cards, then that's when you can add up your energy into your hand. And if you do add one card from your hand to your energy. Um, Rainbow Bardock or Spardock or Colorful Bardock, it's still a playful deck. I mean, it's still a great deck. I mean, this card did give, um, it does give Bardock players, Rainbow Bardock uh, players uh, support in their energy. But I, I, in a way, it's still a, I wouldn't say that's a bad errata. I, I, I couldn't really explain as much, but obviously they want you to have three or more non-black colored cards in the, um, I want to just kind of understand you guys feelings on it how do y'all feel about it personally for me i i'm gonna miss i i it's weird though like i'm gonna miss all the before i'm going to freeza being used moving forward i mean it's goaded so rp to him um i think that raid decks have more freedom i i i do think that and i'm, I'm curious to see what yellow what direction yellow is green going to take now now that green gohan is but you know what i think about it now and i think about it you just have to android 6 you can still play green gohan to to an extent to where you use the bursting rage ser i think maybe there were I, i'm just i'm just assuming right that bandai probably took notice that people was not using bursting rage as much as they wanted the fans to use it because it's an ser right but now, if you do play the Green Gohan, you can use Burst and Rage, and you have more stuff to slow your opponent down. And, I mean, you could also throw in Rebriands. You could do stuff to still lower their hand. It's just not going to be as quick to, to Z-Awaken. But what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I'm Evan 7 and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, remember, the Lord loves you. Uh, oh, and this bitch going crazy.